All right, and a lot of folks saw the lightning and storms mm -hmm. overnight. Yeah. yeah, mine happened just uh. as uh, my alarm clock was going off. Yeah. Perfect morning, timing, so. uh -huh. at least it wasn't before. <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, showers and storms still taking place in parts mm -hmm. of the Mid-South Forest right now. Uh, keep the, uh, the rain gear handy. It's not going to be an all-day non-stop rain, but like yesterday, scattered showers and storms are a possibility. Let's show you the view now looking down on Broadway and the arena for us this morning with the streets still wet from some of the overnight rain. Dixon right now reporting in at 62. You've had about a half an inch of rain since the midnight hour from Columbia right now. You've got a current reading of 65 degrees. Doesn't look like that you've had much in the way of rain since midnight. You're away, although streets damp maybe from a little rain earlier in the night. Here's a check of what's happening right now. Temps are in the 60s. We'll make our way to about 74 for a high this afternoon. This this afternoon also a mix of sun and clouds and again some hit and miss scattered showers and thunderstorms. Take a look at what's happening for you now. There is a look at what's going on with our temps now. Clarksville, Hopkinsville, Katy's 59 in the Paris area. You're right around the 58 degree mark. We'll go 58 Jamestown and for Monterey. Sparta reporting in at 60. 60 out of Tullahoma now. Fayetteville 63. Mont Eagle sits at 56 right now. Then we head over to Linden and New Johnsonville 61. Hornwall Centerville 62, 64 out of Mount Pleasant. Here's what's happening happening right now in Nashville at the airport. Now they're reporting in at 60 degrees. So radar does show that in Nashville now it's dry, but there's rain east and west of, of the city and then rain also in our southern counties. Now here's a check of some of this rain and look at the clusters of lightning showing up out of Kentucky and then down toward uh, the uh, Rickman area of Overton County. A little heavier rain now pushing toward uh, Cookville for us. Uh, you saw uh, quite a bit of lightning also west of Cookville as well. In our southern areas now, a few lightning strikes down this way. A little rain from Lawrence County into Giles County now. And if you look carefully, there are a few lightning strikes there on the Lawrence County, Giles County line. And then this looks ominous here, uh, but it's below severe limits. A cluster of storms now around Hopkinsville. Another one here around Stewart County into Houston County. And a little finger of that into Humphreys County. And then there's another little line from near Paris through Benton County and down near Linden out of the Perry County area for you this morning. So again, quite a bit of lightning, especially from Dover to Carlisle, but it's below severe limits for us. Here is exact track. Uh, we'll keep in a scattered shower and a storm threat for you today. Percentages go down to about 30% for you tonight and for tomorrow as we head toward tomorrow afternoon hit and miss activity. Again, I won't totally rule out a shower tomorrow night, but the threat does go down uh, tomorrow night, then picks back up again as we head into Saturday afternoon. For today, 74, tomorrow, 78, 77, Saturday, 76 on Sunday, and then 74 for a high on Monday.